hello welcome back to my youtube channel web scrapping service in this youtube channel now i will show you more details about the web scrapping using the google spreadsheet and the import xml uh, formula and the export query before starting the tutorial i am requesting you if you are new in my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have already subscribed my youtube channel please share this video to your facebook twitter linkedin and other social media so that other people can also learn this technique and i am requesting you if you have not watched my uh, previous video please watch this previous video uh, and where i have already explained more details about the web scraping uh, google sheet lots of uh, advanced technique and export query import xml formula lots of lots of matter and uh, in this session i will also explain um, more details about the import xml formula and uh, export query and the uh, google spreadsheet so my request is that please watch the full video from beginning to the end so that you can become the master of export and web scraping and the google sheet various kinds of technique so friends you see that this is the uh, google sheet where i have already uh, scrapped the business name address email uh, all thing uh, all details how i have collected uh, uh, i have uh, collected in that google sheet uh, already i have created video you can found all this video in my youtube channel directly or i will give all my previous video link in that video description you can easily find them here and watch and learn from it and in this section i will uh, show you how we can get the website from this kind of website and uh, i will also explain how to write the export to get the website and any other uh, technical data from this kind of website directory or local directory so friends you have to watch my full video from beginning to the end to learn this technique so uh, this is the uh, this is the website you see that this is the website uh, which i already working with on it and this is the sheet where i have already um, where i have already write my various kinds of um, export and lots of uh, here is the regular expression formula lots of things okay so here now i will write the um, i will here i will explain about the import xml formula export and lot of things okay so friends you see that this is our uh, great helper export uh, export um, tester and we already use this exporter uh, to uh, test our uh, export is okay or not so in this case i will also use this export um, uh, toggle exporter to uh, test our export is okay or not okay so you already know about this one and in this section i will write the export for uh, for to extract the uh, website from that kind of website okay so here you see that uh, similarly i just want to right click on it and I click on here inspect element when i write inspect element here you see that the same thing is happening here you see that we get this is our uh, okay i'm just uh, want to make this one okay so you see that this is our website we get with this is our website and here the target is blank okay and this website is inside the anchor text a and this anchor text a is inside the paragraph text p you see that paragraph t p and this paragraph uh, tag p is closed here but this paragraph tag is closed already closed here this already closed here and this already closed here as all these html tag if any html tag already closed here so in this case we do not need to count this one we will all already we will only count this tag which uh, are related or which are not open closed um, uh, which are not closed related to our target text understand so this is the main thing to write the uh, export for any kind of um, any kind of target text so here you see that uh, this anchor text uh, we normally start with this anchor text and this is the same thing 
it is also inside the dive class in a product inner so the same way we can write this dive class here so we already know that so we already know that uh, the export is uh, starts with uh, double forward slash and then we we'll write the dive and similarly we will give the uh, third bracket and as this is the attribute okay dive has the class attribute so we'll give the at sign and insert this one dive class so we get this dive class uh, so we get all the data all the data uh, inside uh, all the data inside the dive which has product inner but here you see that we want to make this one we want to uh, make this one as as we have the uh, this anchor text is inside the p a paragraph text so i just filter this one just with p when it inside the p you see that we have started to get lot of lot of data but we want to make it more filter so in this case i just want to uh, more filter with anchor text a sorry or anchor text a when you give the anchor text a you see that data is automatically reducing here so we get here you see that we get only on we get only the email address and we get the website and we get the reviews that means all these has the anchor text so from this total three business we get nine data here but in this case you see that i only want to get the website no other information so now i have to uh, i have to make more clear about our uh, website uh, data okay so for that as usual and the same thing is happening you see that this in my previous video i already show you that in the email address if i uh, open this one in inspect element i show that one thing you please uh, notice very attentively see that this this is the you see that when my cursor is on the text this data is automatically highlighted that means this is the uh, text for the email address but this is the text for the website here you see that one thing a href has mail to parts but here a href has the http parts you see that here the http is totally different or here the mail to is totally different so we have to take the advantage of this kind of technique understand so this is the uh, main point so here i will write the same thing which i already show in my previous video so here i will write the contents understand you see that this is the export uh, contents that means a contents a contents we have to give the first bracket and then we have to give the add add that means this a step the a step is the attribute okay so i just want to give this one a step okay a step add when we write any kind of you see that when you write a contents in my previous video i already explained where i have to use the a possibility that means where we want to get some possibility then in this case we use the contents um, contents uh, formula in x export so here when you write contents formula then we do uh, we cannot use the um, uh, equal sign because this dive is fixed with this dive has a fixed attribute uh, this one product inner but in that case if we want to uh, fix this one this will be little problem understand you can test it if you can fix one because i hope uh, this cannot be fixed okay because if you want to fix this one i will see that something will be uh, wrong okay you see that this is um, this as if you want to uh, make it fixed so uh, I, I will show you in my next video what is the problem okay so you can test it but uh, i hope it will not okay so here so this is done we normally use the contents formula uh, so that it it is it shows the possibility okay so here the href href contains the http so href contains the http when you write http we have to insert the comma and here i have to give the uh, one single quotation no double quotation you have to give the single quotation 
and when we give the single quotation you see that here we get the three website only you see that this website this website and this website now i just want to uh, copy this export here and here i just want to uh, paste it okay i just want to paste it our export i just want to uh, make this one the okay rep test so this is the export we found and here i just want to write the website okay this is the website now i will write our uh, main formula the main formula is equal import xml this is the import xml import xml import xml the same thing is happening just choose this one and comma this one okay just click on enter when you click on enter you see that within a few within a second we get our three website we get this three website so this three website already exists here okay this three website so friends this is the process where i have wanted to explain about the export and the import xml formula and also the google spreadsheet uh, technique so if you think this video is something helpful for you please uh, subscribe this youtube channel and share this video to your uh, social media so that other people can learn this and also comment on the video if you have any kind of question thank you so much for watching this video please take care and pray for me bye